Up next, your second place points championship contender, Oliver Luke, Evans. That most handsome Welshman I have ever met in my life. It is, of course, Oliver Evans, your current defending pro champion. Well, he took that car up onto the tyres earlier on in practice, pushing super hard. And now Evans says, no regard to anything other than getting a championship, another one under my belt. Back to back, can he do it? Flying right now is Oliver Evans as he squeezes the accelerator. Look at this, unfazed. Is what his previous crap, yeah. Absolutely get nailing that line that he uh, pissed oh, up. He's going very, very wide. wide through the last corner. But it's only maybe two wheels, if one wheel, off track there on that portion of the circuit. Very good job there from Oliver Evans. Good to see him get that car out after having a car. Oh, incredible for his team. Uh, yeah, representing Aleco Drift, Lucas BB Racing, DY Engine Services, Holtec ECU, Washlow, Metal Finish Masters, Yellow Speed Racing, and Driftworks. And Evans is your current uh, defending champion. Judges liking it with an 80.33, putting him in fifth place, fifth place overall. Oliver Evans now 15th place with an 80.3 yeah. score. He is going to be looking at to get inside that golden eight. He wants to be in the golden eight because that means he gets to save the car, they get to check back over it again after that he incident. He, practice, wants to be, he needs to go. He, he wants to be going against Kiva very early. late on. Early? Late on? No, he, he needs to do it early. He needs to get the job done early. He needs to get if he's, if, if he's on the right side of the bracket to battle McKeever, he needs to get it done the, early. I think the excitement, the, the excitement, build the build-up. Well, here we go. Off the line, the current champion, second in the points. Oliver Evans, the Welshman. Absolutely screaming, incredible talent. Look at this from Very Evans. Nice wow, incredible so far. Evans not messing around mid track through the bus stop, drops a wheel on the curb. Oh, he's shallow. Shy. Shallow on that outside zone, and that's going to hurt his score. You can see the pace he's bringing. Look at the speed. Evans pulls through that part of the circuit. He'll dab on the foot brake as he gets himself through that first hairpin. Nice transition back as Evans kicks the clutch, slams the foot to the floor, gets the job done across the line. Oh, do you know what? That was so close yeah, to I mean, being almost perfect. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the entry wasn't as big a flick as, well, I would like to see, but that doesn't matter because the judges <laughs> might judge something different. And a little bit shallow off of a couple of clips there. Um, he would just Evans, but the pace he yes. had around that course. He would just want to get himself into that into that top eight driver so that he doesn't have to battle, you know, to get into the top 16. Top 24 drivers have to battle uh, unless you're in that top eight and you move automatically through to top 16. So Evans will be looking for that top 16, uh, top eight finish uh, now in qualifying. So you know, uh, half the job is done. Yep. So let's see what the judges thought of that. Is he going to improve from an 80.33? What do you think? I reckon it's yeah, going to be a mid 80s. I'm not. I don't even want to. Count. I don't even want to think about it. You're going to back out of it like that. Backed fully out of that one. So yeah. Oliver Evans. Bush Blue S14, S15. Well, there we go. An 87, seventh place job done for Evans. He gets himself into that top eight drivers. I mean, Oliver Evans and Nerogus battle. Oliver Evans managed to fix his car and get it back to the grid. Don't actually know what was wrong with Oliver Evans' car. No, so yeah, Evans is. So, so yeah, Evans. Evans. Uh, not sure. Not, not sure, sure what's wrong with the car. No we'll one told to us. Find no, no one, one told us. No one, no one knew what was going on. Secret stuff down there yeah. in the Wash Loop Pits. Uh, he says, hang on, Nero just. Uh, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I'm brutally honest with you what way this to go. Nero just can really. You know, yeah. pull it out the back sometimes, but then other times he goes a little bit too wild and, and can throw the battle away. Two J, both two J Z. Oh wow, Josh King throwing some real fire on on Oliver Evans. Is he saying he needs a cushion? He's a cushion. For his seat. Seat. That, I mean, that's mean, isn't it? I mean, he's got little. Just, he's got little legs, but I don't think his body's that small. He's in proportion. Is he? Do you know? I noticed earlier he's got a few grey hairs, though. Is he? That's what drifted. That's he's only fourteen. <laughs> So Oliver Evans, the current defending champion, second in the points, sits on the line. Yeah, he would. He, well, he knows that McKeever's moving through competition. He's in that Funk Motorsport Great Eight, and and Evans is saying, "Well, you know, there we I go. two battles. I need to get it done. I need to get into that Great Eight to come off the line." Yeah, massive flick there from Oliver Evans as they both come to the corner, but Nero just has not given him an inch to manoeuvre. He knows he's got to put it on the door of the second place championship at the minute. 
Cole so Evans. They come through the middle of the track, a little bit of a falter there, but Nero just, just not really have the pace to catch up, cutting them at track quite badly to get back on the side of Oliver Evans' door. Another dive there, but is it too little, too late? Because Oliver Evans perfectly lead line round. Evans is a uh, front brake light strip just hanging off there. Looked like uh, some Christmas lights hanging on a Christmas tree. Let's take a look back at the replay of this one. Uh, Evans absolutely flying. He's got some serious grip dialed into this car. You can see the way it squats as he puts the, the accelerator down. Nice transition, very, very fast. Nice angle, perfect line for the bus stop. Just went a little yeah. bit too wide there on that front clipping point. Could have transitioned a little bit earlier, but very tidy job from Oliver Evans. As you can see him drop a wheel over the edge of the track on outside zone 9 and uh, yeah and they just in the background cutting track making dives not making it a clean one uh, I mean he's not too far behind but it's just a little bit scrappy as a chase run yeah this far into the, this level of competition I'd expect to see him a little bit closer and it wasn't that wild usually we see something really wild from Nero just Maybe we'll see that on his you want to lead see, run. You, I mean, if he's if, if, if they've told him, if they've heard, the spotters heard you say that and they've told him over the radio, we want to see something wild. I mean, hold on to your hat. Let us hope. I can say. Let us hope. Sorry, Michael, it's just a little bit too cold. Yeah. Getting a bit chilly. Just get a little bit too chilly there to just uh, turn the air conditioning off. <laughs> right, but here we go. Second Nero half of the run. Leave. Lead. Leave? Oh, Where's leave. he leaving to? He's leaving the start line. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Evans doesn't oh, look good. Evans. Oh, what happened there? Oliver Evans definitely caught napping. It's Nero just... Wow, what happened there yeah. on the start oh, line? He's in. Oliver Evans you see the way, to catch up. You see the way that Evans literally launched off the start line there. Wow, look at this. Evans <laughs> catches up. He's not happy. He's an angry little Welshman. No, he's gone way too wide. He's gone go way too wide. Can he hold on to it? He certainly can. Oh, when the Welshman is angry, he is absolutely he fuming. Is he does! Meridius across the line. Oh, oh he's fuming. He's going to be livid. He is absolutely livid. And you know what, Oliver? This will be the second time today that I've seen that little Welshman absolutely aggressive. There we go. He wasn't he watching. He, he wasn't, wasn't watching. watching. He wasn't watching. God, oh, what was he doing? He's going to be so... What uh, he was does Evans doing? And you know well. what? He, 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 yeah, I mean, look at, look at this guy. Shortcuts <laughs> the track massively. Catches him up here through the bus stop. Yeah. But then watch the aggression. Look at this. Ready? Boom. Big dive. Cut. Wheel on the inside. He's like, I'm having the rear end of your car. Yeah, Washes. just pushes it a little bit too hard oh, as well, I don't he? know. I think... I don't know. I think that's too much of a mistake. Look at the... Bam. Yeah. Doors him. He's like, you, you're, you're taking it. <laughs> Whatever I'm giving to you, you're taking it. Oh, Evan is not happy right now, but... <sighs> wow, okay, yeah. so we are hearing, uh, we're relaying the information that both drivers gave the thumbs up, and then Oliver Evans, I, I, I don't, he didn't see the signal from our start line, Marshall uh, Ross, because if, he, if you give the thumbs up, if you give the thumbs up to the start line, Marshall, you are indicating yeah. that you're ready to go. You're, 100%. You, you know, and... We, I see this a couple of weeks ago at the Irish Drift Series with, with uh, James Dean. James Dean put the car in gear, give the thumbs up, took the car back out of gear, then put the car back in gear once the, car, the other car had left the line, stalled, and then stopped and thought he was going to get the win, and he didn't, you know, and it was his own fault because he'd indicated to the start line marshal, decision's in, left for Evans, right for Nerejus, and, and there it gets, is, unanimous. Nerejus gets the win, wow. and the championship is going to open up massively here. Wow. Wow. Wow, judges, we just need to clarify that with you. Yeah, yeah, Ian, you pretty much explained it. Um, we got confirmation from the start line, Marshall, that we had the thumbs up. Um, Oliver was caught napping at the start. Nerejus didn't put too much uh, wrong. Um, Ollie then was cutting track to try and uh, catch back up again, which he did, but unfortunately had an error in towards clips 10. Uh, dropped two wheels off and out of bounds. He couldn't overturn it, and the uh, advantage and win goes to Nerejus. So there we, so go. we go. I mean, not the weekend. I mean, <laughs> that I mean, is, I mean I wow. can't, words can't describe how angry he's going to be. 